Hi, thanks for joining me again. Previously I did a series of videos on how to replace or upgrade the bearings in your Align T-Rex 450 Pro Helicopter. Uh, this time we're going to move up to the 550 size helicopter. Now for this video I've chosen to show you how to replace the one-way bearing in your helicopter because it can be quite a challenge without the proper uh, tools and equipment. Um, you may see some videos out there showing you how to use a drill press or a vise on how to press that old bearing out and get the new bearing in. Um, but uh, you can you can get a a bearing press like this it makes the job a lot easier. So we'll go ahead and get started on that. I've removed the main gear assembly from my helicopter, and some of the tools you're going to need for this assembly or this replacement: a flathead screwdriver, a pair of pliers your bearing press and then I've also found with my bearing press this particular one doesn't push that bearing all the way out so I need a socket to push it out that final small amount uh, with a hammer and this is a 13 millimeter socket which is a good size to get in there. Uh, you're going to need your replacement bearings these two were sent to me by Boca and if you're interested in the upgraded bearings from Boca I'll flash up the sizes that you'll need for this this procedure so we'll go ahead and get started. The first thing you need to do is remove the collar that the main shaft goes into and if you use a flathead screwdriver to just work that up just slightly to get a purchase on it you can use a pair of pliers very carefully to grip that and it should pull straight out. Now when you pull these two apart you got your main gear and your, your auto rotation gear you want to be real careful because there's a shim or a washer that sits between those two make sure you don't lose that. Now you've got your main gear out and this is what you're going to be want to work on. You can remove your main gear by taking out these six hex screws. Um, I prefer to leave them in the main gear because you get a little better purchase as you're working on this. One other thing you want to note is on the bottom of the gear where it actually attaches to your auto rotation gear, if you look real closely at the one-way bearing, you see the numbers and an arrow because this bearing is directional. If you put your new bearing in there upside down, it'll be backwards and it won't spin the proper way you try and spool up your helicopter you're going to run into some major problems. As you can see I've taken my bearing press apart and the way you get started on this is you'll notice that you also you have a one-way bearing on a 550 you also have a standard traditional bearing that sits on top of there. So what you're going to want to do is press out that traditional bearing first so you're going to take this part of your bearing press put it on the bottom start screwing it together you're going to cinch this up. Now it's real important to make sure you get this bearing press lined up right on the center of that bearing as you get it started there otherwise you're going to hit your sides and it's not going to come out very well. So once you've got that lined up you're going to crank and the first time you do this it might be real real tight. You give that about eight or ten turns and that bearing that sits on top is going to pop out. And you want to pull your bearing press apart before you get too far because what you're going to want to do is pull that traditional bearing out then you can continue. So I'm going to put my bearing press back together and I'm going to screw this down as far as it'll go. Now depending on the brand of bearing press you get your press might push that bearing all the way out. Once I get my bearing press cinched all the way down, then I'm going to go ahead and unscrew it. Remove the press from the main bearing. And you'll notice again, here's my one-way bearing. You'll notice that that bearing press doesn't push it all the way out. So what I'm going to go ahead and do off camera is insert this socket or something of a similar diameter into there. I usually give it one tap with a hammer on here and that one-way bearing will pop out. And we'll be ready to uh, replace this with our upgraded Boca bearings. So I've got my old one-way bearing and my traditional bearing pressed out there. I've got my new Boca bearings that I'm going to be putting in. And again, as a reminder, there's one side of the bearing that's labeled. That goes down into the long portion here that goes into your auto rotation gear. So what you're going to want to do is, as best you can, line that up fairly straight. Take this portion of your bearing press that's going to push it in. You're going to thread it onto the other side of your bearing press. Now again, a lot of videos out there explaining how to use a, a, a vise or a drill press to do this and if you're good enough to do that that's great uh, I've always found it necessary to use a bearing press like this you can look online for bearing presses and there's one for each size of helicopter 
Now, this one is good for a Align 550 or 600 because it uses the same size gear and bearing. But there's ones out there for 450s and 700s. So once you get that lined up fairly straight, you can screw your bearing press together. That pushes the new bearing in. And again, once you get that fairly flush or just below flush, you're going to want to take your bearing press apart. So I'm just going to go just below flush. We'll go ahead and take this apart. And now I can put on my traditional bearing here and finish pressing that in. And again, be real careful that you set that up so that it's nice and flush so you're pushing on the outer race of that bearing. Now this is going to go in just flush with either side of this main shaft. So that's not quite in, so you see that bearing is pushed out a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and put that back together, get that flush, and you'll notice that this side of the one-way bearing sits flush with the bottom here. So I went ahead and make sure my, my bearings are nice and flush. The bottom of the one-way bearing is nice and flush with the bottom there. The traditional bearing is nice and flush with the top there. Now all there is to do is to put the two gears together. And remember there's a shim in there. You want to make sure that stays in there. Put your gears back together. Put your collar back in. And you're going to want to make sure that this hole down here lines up with the hole here so that your Jesus bolt gets through there. Once you put that in there, you can rotate that. It goes back together. You rotate that so they're all lined up. And you're ready to put that back into your helicopter. Okay, so thanks to the folks at Boca Bearings for sending me the upgraded bearings to show you how to do these replacements and upgrades. And thank you for watching. I hope you find the videos helpful and stay tuned for more.